Hi everyone, welcome to the exam tutorial session 5. So in this tutorial we will be looking into how to find elements by different different properties. Okay. So let's see the agent number today. Finding elements in different ways. So we can see from the video list we can there are several ways like find elements dot by dot by property using by accessibility ID, class name, feature selector, string ID, link test name, partial link test tag name, text path. Uh, and apart from this, there is another we can do by using the Android UI automator. Okay, so now let's see uh, for our example and we'll find more about it. Okay, okay so this is my clips, and here I'm writing, um, here I'm writing the basic uh, scripting for the brightness controlling feature. This is the native app of our mobile. So, this is my uh, uh, device that I went with and connected to the USB. By the movies and mirroring. Now let me open my. Let me open the UI Automator UI first. Uh, Automator UI. So pull. Wait for a few seconds. It will get opened. So the UI Automator window get opened. Let's, yeah, my device can be connected successfully again. Okay, now for the brightness control app, let's see. Okay. Let me find the screenshot for that. Okay, so minimize this device as of now. So, for maximize it. So from the UI automator here, you can see this is the brightness control app. I can easily go to the particular app and select brightness level. So the text is also select brightness text we are getting, class name, package name we are getting, content description is coming as a blank. Okay. And coming to the next question, auto. Here the text is auto, resource ID, class, package name, content is coming as a blank. And close and select. And here so for all the fields we are seeing the combination kind of so let's see I mean uh, the different of writing it okay so for the first case we have written at driver dot file element by x path text select brightness level okay so what it will do select brightness level this is the text getting this way so I have taken this is the text inside that app that is being focused the text should be this way so putting as x path and passing the text parameter value you can also part you can also pass the some words or some letter consecutive letter as a contents as x path contents is value you can also pass this way and I think uh, find element by id okay for current id what is the current uh, brightness 60 percent okay what is the resource id i am giving this id is id slash tv is current value okay so i'm passing as a driver the file element by id and the id i have given there is another way we can do that uh, you can write this way also driver dot uh, find by accessibility id in that accessibility id open that okay what is the id id is uh, tv slash current value okay this is the id so you can just pass the id here this way also okay it should work okay so driver is find element by accessibility id just pass your uh, relevant accessibility id whatever the id attribute just pass or if you want to just uh, consider it as a just normal id like driver dot find element uh, by id Yeah, finally when by ID then uh, you have to pass the you need to pass the whole resource ID that is in this way so this is my resource ID so I have to pass the resource ID okay so um, you can do the find even back with the ID for native apps it should work on the native app mostly I've seen and find elements by ID you can also find pass the ID of finding the elements okay another way to find that find element by class name or that sigma 
Okay, that is the sigma that we can drag and drop and spot. Okay, the particular which is the horizontal spot. Sigma. So what is sigma? We are seeing that the class name is standard integer sigma. This is the class name, unique class name. For that we have mentioned sigma removal element driver that find given by class name. Okay, so we have seen that uh, how to find given by ID, how to find given by X path and finding given by class name. Now there is another option you can do. Now for you don't have to use all these options. Uh, you can use the uh, Android UI automated feature to find the element itself. Before we proceed, there is another thing that suppose you open uh, some other applications. Uh, the content description. This is the field. Okay, the content description field. Whatever the uh, uh, field that display. It, suppose uh, let me open another app. No, it's not taking actually. Uh, let me open the right. I'll show you for what is content description. Content description basically the name name properties. Okay. So, See, I have opened this uh, contact app. Now, let's see what about the contribution. If you have any contribution here or not, no, I am going to see any contribution here. It's the, uh, okay. So, for those fields, uh, we are not having any content descriptions, but for any field, if we are uh, having some content description value, okay, value as uh, like something value will be there. So, uh, we can just do it this way driver dot find element by name find element by name the other content content decisions value goes there okay okay so this way also you can find for content resources you can find this a content description goes there find element by name so that this is the name of the content description so by accessibility, you need to pass the ID of the uh, particular app. Okay, but sometimes you will have seen, you, you may found that it, it is not working. The better should be used as kind of by ID itself. In, in case where to provide the whole uh, resource ID. Okay, it's, uh, it's a good approach to proceed with. Okay, Sigma we can find a find by plus name. So you can also use the X path property if you want. Uh, Suppose for this uh, contact info, for this contact info, we have a class and text as a uh, text uh, showing as a contact. So let me search here's the class name driver dot find finally you can do this way by dot expert you can create by dot expert which you can create or direct you can take the screenshot of this being uh, given for mobile element find elements by Expert okay for mobile element directly okay. In case in that you have to provide the uh, expert so the property uh, class CNA so class class was the uh, text uh, of the text I was expecting contact. So see if you want to pass multiple attribute this way like uh, class and text both attribute you have to uh, write your expert this way okay so i have written this expert this way so it will also help you to um, find the elements details and find the locators and now i mean there is the conventional way of showing the finding elements by id in class name and uh, accessibility id expert CSS. Um, there's another way you can do that uh, by utilizing the Android UI automator. This is the uh, this is the method uh, inside the mobile right class. Uh, so 
let me take example for if you want to find uh, this uh, suppose uh, contact not contact uh, let me show you i want to find my profile okay i want to find my profile utilizing the ui automatically what should i write so let's minimize the that options see we need to write First, my profile. What is the society? The society is this is the society, and this is the this is the package name, and this is the text. This is the text. Okay. So, if you want to find it using the UI automator, so I have common proof you would like that. Driver dot find element i. mobile by one thing uh, if you are using you can also directly have that feature find a link by uh, if you are using the android uh, driver then you will get directly the option it should be displayed okay and uh, no issue i mean it is not coming you can always Automated, you can see now, and we are working inside that. You have to pass new selector. This is the UI selector class. Okay, UI selector. Okay, so what is the resource ID? Resource ID is that was my resource ID, right? write it this way Last instance zero All these things I have to mark. Okay, so you can uh, so these are guys to class dot in society com dot android contacts. We are passing the society this way. All is ready inside that. Uh, uh, it's a, as a parameter for the society field and instance zero. Suppose you are having that same society at this system. Uh, let me show you guys. Suppose that uh, this ID is same for all the contacts. Okay, suppose this contact also, we can see. Uh, for this ID, this ID is not there. But suppose in your case, the this ID is same for several uh, for uh, list of things. Uh, you will get the same this ID. So if you want to get the particular uh, the first contact, the second contact, you know, the first item, the first the second element, third element. So under the resource ID, the instance of zero will select the first element. Okay, instance that one will select the second element. Instance of two will be third element. Okay, so you have to pass the resource ID this way, or you can change the instances as well. Okay, and then it's another way. You can pass the resource ID and just do it this way. For this case, instances are given three. Uh, now, if you want to, if you don't have to pass the resource ID inside that, just uh, remove that options. Part is a string, so this will simply consider as a string format. Any string, and if you find the string, if you find the string format this way, then you have to provide that resource ID. Uh, ID comma. So here we are seeing the web part. Okay, so got it. And we are missing the string format. Since in that case we have to mention this one. Okay, 
to string format it will initially consider this uh, argument and uh, for the argument to provide the value the string value that I given this way okay the common under transfer so this also will pass the society now suppose you want to fetch the text if you want to select the particular element by using a text it is a UI automatic however I do that let's see for our example uh, for this uh, contact for this contact uh, page where I need the text as contact okay. text as contact so we will simply write this observer dot find element by mobile dot mobile by dot android ui automator then here yeah, also string format will be string dot format string format then object the format was this new UI new UI selected dot text whichever text I want uh, you can pass the text directly here uh, if you want to pass the text directly here so you don't have to use the string format okay if you are passing the text inside that of course or if you not passing the text inside that other picking it as a string argument and you're passing the value as a comma separated format then you have to give the string format okay so in my case i'm not passing i'm just uh, passing it this way string value right. no, sorry Same thing in the text field, uh, contact field, we can choose this uh, mobile by and the automata string to format. So the new item selector class will select the particular selector which have the text contacts. Okay. So this will select the this relevant, uh, I mean, this relevant uh, element, mobile, element, mobile element. Okay, and you can do any kind of person fetching the details of it, clicking on it. Okay, you can do this one. So now we have seen that uh, apart from having using the XPath and uh, UI Automator, uh, if I bring the XPath and uh, activate the ID and class name for content descriptions, we are having that mobile by the Android UI Automator that is helpful to find the element of the classes. Okay, now let's see the if it is really working or not. As of now, let me just delete these portions. Okay, guys, so we have seen the different way we have found the value of a particular variable event and we can identify the variable event in different ways. So, not only the not only this way, like finding explicit ID class name, series selector, and the link test name, or X path, we can also find it utilizing the mobile by UI automator. Android UI Automator. So try to do experiment with it and if try to find uh, the different different elements by utilizing the Android UI Automator classes, by utilizing the Android UI Automator resource ID class name and text and getting different instances. Okay. So if you have any questions, then let me know and thank you for watching.